You've seen this on TV, you've seen this Olympics. We're gonna break some wood. I couldn't find brick, so I thought wood would be more reasonable today, right? But we could probably break brick. And what we're gonna, did you find them? Yeah. Okay. I see a face nodding Awesome, all right, so there's here. your wood. Okay, so I want you, while I'm explaining this, I want you to write down the thing that gets in your way, the obstacle to growing your business or doing networking. All right, he already knows what he's going to write. Okay, do we have one more volunteer? I think Steve Choquette loved to volunteer. All right, Steve, way to go. So while they're writing their obstacles, the thing that prevents them from doing what they know they need to do, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what I teach in women's self-defense. Uh, which we do classes and workshops, young girls. We're doing a whole series of high school girls right now, and it's phenomenal training for them. It builds their confidence and self-esteem. But part of what we teach is how to use the voice, how to actually yell from a guttural position to increase the power of your strike and blocks, and quite literally to scare off other people. And we have a term called the key up. So she says key up, and some people will yell key up. Yep, yep, and it comes from down here. You guys might be listening because you're going to be doing some of this, okay? So key up and the guttural yell is not from here. This is the screaming zone. This will strain your vocal cords and hurt. This is where you want to yell from. This is deeper, this is richer, this is more empowering. It's your core, and it literally sends a vibration through the air and affects other people. So suddenly if someone is attacking you and you could say, he's already... You could pine. My husband cut these one inch. I said, "Can you give me little thin ones?" He goes, "That's all I could get." If you would say, "No, stop, back off," and you had the guts to yell that loudly, you actually might avoid a whole dangerous situation. But I noticed that most women that come, they don't like to yell that loud because I don't know what is it. We like to be nice and soft and demure, and that's a little. We scare ourselves. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to hurt anybody. All just and they literally clam up. And then their moves are like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, excuse me, you're trying to save your life or your child's life? Cut! You gotta, you gotta really find it. So what we're gonna do for you guys is we're going to break this wood. Oh, do you wanna share with this group? This is a good one. What, what stops you? Making the time to make the calls. Making the time to make the calls. Anybody else agree? That's a tough one, how about you? I said oh, overcoming being turned down or being pushed away. Overcoming being turned down or pushed away. Kathy. Someone's saying no to me. Someone's saying no! No. Yeah, you're going to learn how to say no, honey. All right, let me have your pens. Okay. So now what I'm going to teach them really quickly, and all of you, if you want to go along, is uh, with your dominant hand, I want you to learn how to make a fist. So follow along. You're going to tuck your thumb in, first of all. Do not let this hitchhiker be sticking out, because that is dangerous. You're going to curl in your fingers. Curl in your fingers until it's tight, and then wrap the thumb around the outside. You never want to enclose your thumb or have your thumb stick out. Has anybody ever broken a finger or a thumb or a toe? Does that just hurt like the dickens? Won't kill you, but the recovery is really long. <laughs> so you want to make a nice tight fist. So literally if everyone would do this with me, this is how you're going to save your life. Curl it in, curl it in, and make a fist. Okay, what they're going to do to break the wood is they're going to do a hammer fist. So literally like, here comes a judge, here comes a judge, the gavel. We're going to be hitting with a soft, fleshy part of the wrist. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bracing myself. Is this good, Dom? And I'm going to be holding it like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make that tight fist, okay? The striking surface is going to be the fleshy part. You're going to imagine the target is not here. You're okay. going to imagine the target is here. Okay. You always punch through the target. You speak through, not at. You punch through, not at. I have, in the past, stopped right here and it stings like the dickens, okay? So, but not for you. That was... Take care of Kathy. <laughs> okay. And so what I want you to do is take your arm all the way up, keep your eyes open, and hit in the middle of the board and say, Hup! Try that one for me. Hup! Okay, louder. Hup! Oh yeah, okay, all right, so can you, you can't really see him though. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. It's okay, I, I have extra. Okay. okay, you ready? So first of all, look at that objection. Okay. Let's okay. just knock the heck out of it. Ready? Ah! Woo! Woo! Yeah, nice job. Very good. Okay, here you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent. Okay, Thanks. Kathy. Oh, gosh. Okay, so oh. saying no to me. So actually, I do want you, instead of the key up, I want you to yell no. Okay. And I want you to feel it, like right here. No. 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 
pushing out the air. Excellent. Okay. okay, let me see your fist. All right, nice tucked in, fleshy part. Okay, all together, saying no to me. No! Woo! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> all right, nice job. Excellent. Oh, overcoming, being turned down, being pushed away. Who's going to be pushing you away after today? I don't think no. so. Can we see that fist? Okay, nice fleshy part. Mm -hmm. Let me hear that key up just for... Yep. Okay, louder. Push it. Yep. Oh, yeah, nice right. and deep. Here we go. And... Yep. Woo! Yeah! Oh, you got three pieces. All right. All right. You. Remember, you did it. Good job. So sometimes it takes the willingness to do something that goofy in front of all your peers. But how do you all feel about that? Do you feel pumped up? Yeah. It is great. So if you can take a self-defense class or, you know what, go to the airport and stand underneath the, where they fly the airplanes and just do that guttural yell. Just get it out. Know that you can do it. And that is what it takes to be willing to defend yourself. It could just be your voice.